Hello all. Today in this video we are going to find out the RNS configuration in flying wedge projection. Already we have seen how to find out the absolute configuration that is RNS configuration in Fisher projection. But uh, now in this video we are going to find out the same in flying wedge projection. First of all what is flying wedge projection? See this is known as wedge okay wedge. And this one is dashed line. Okay, dashed one. This is dash and this is wedge. What it means is, wedge means above the plane. Okay, above the plane. And dash means below the plane. These solid lines represents, they are on the plane. Okay, they are on the plane. And this group is present above the plane. Okay, above the plane. And this one is below the plane. Okay. Or otherwise you can say that this particular group is projecting towards us. Okay. Towards us. And this is away from us. Okay. This is what the flying wedge projection. Now how you have to find out the RNS configuration is a very simple. If you know the Fisher projection. Okay. First of all. Say if you are having fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. The same rules here also. You have to follow the SIP rules. Okay. First of all, you have to give the priorities based on the atomic number. Here, which is having highest atomic number, it is iodine, right? Hence, you have to give the priority, first priority to iodine. Next, bromine. Next, chlorine. And last, fluorine. Okay? This is how you have to give the priorities. Now, there is one condition. Okay? There is a condition that the fourth priority group, The fourth priority group should always present in the dashed one. Okay, dashed line. Fourth priority group should always present in the dashed position. Okay. See in this case, uh, the fourth group is present in the solid line. First of all, after giving the priorities, what you have to do? You have to rotate and check, right? From 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. It is clockwise direction towards your right. Hence, it is clockwise direction. So, clockwise direction means it is R configuration, right? R configuration. Okay. But the fourth priority group should be in dashed position. But it is not so. It is present on the solid line. Hence, you have to invert the configuration. R means here, yes. Yes is the final configuration for this uh, flying wedge projection. Okay, for this substance, for this compound, S is the absolute configuration. This is how you have to find out. Same rules as in Fisher projection, you have to first give the priorities and you have to rotate and check from 1, 2, 2 and then 2, 3. Okay, after uh, rotation, you have to predict which is anti-clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, direction or anti-clockwise direction. If it is clockwise direction, then it is R. If it is anti-clockwise direction, then it is S. Okay, so after your rotation, you are predicting the configuration and after that, you have to look for the fourth priority group. If the fourth priority group is in dashed position, no need to invert the configuration. Okay, if it is not present in the uh, dashed position, it may be present in the wedge or solid line, you have to invert the configuration. Okay, these are all the rules you have to follow while predicting the RNS configuration in flying wedge projection. Similarly, I am giving you another one. See in this case you are having hydrogen. Uh, this is OH, NH2 and this is SH. Okay. Now first of all you have to give the priority. Okay. That's the first thing you have to do. So here in this case uh, this will have first priority because the atomic number. See there is sulfur. Nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, hydrogen. You have to give the priority to sulfur. So this is first priority. And this is second one. This is third. Okay. Now after giving the priorities, you have to rotate and check from 1, 2, 3. It is anti-clockwise direction. Hence, it should be S configuration. Now after that, you have to check the fourth priority group. Now the fourth priority group is present in the dashed position, right? Dashed one. So no need to change the configuration. It is simply S configuration. Okay, this is how you have to check the RNS configuration in flying wedge projection. Now I will give you one example. You have to find out the configuration and share your answer in the comment section. Okay, so you have to work out for this. 
is okay carbon and uh, silicon germanium tin okay so this is very simple carbon silicon germanium tin lead okay i have given you the carbon family i have given you the hint also it is carbon family okay so down the group the atomic number increases okay i have given you all the hints just you have to find out the configuration and share your answer in the comment section for this okay so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you find this video helpful then kindly uh, like this video and uh, share with your friends stay tuned thank you so much for watching